Welcome back to the Snowpoint Cast. Today we're going to be talking about a deck called Luxape. Luxape got first at the U.S. National Championships in 2009. A player named Kyle Pukasukovic uh, got first place with it. This isn't his exact list. It's like maybe two or three cards different. Um, but it's off of Puka's recommendation. I hit him up on Twitter, see if uh, there was any changes he'd make to the list. And there were some modifications. And we'll talk about which cards he uh, changed when we get to them. But let's get right into it. So starting off with two Luxray GL. Luxray GL's got 80 HP, a single retreat, a resistance to metal, and a weakness to fighting so the first attack uh for two colors is bite for 30 so definitely nice you put an energy on there and an e-gain and you're able to hit for 30 it's some pretty good turn one pressure for sure um and then trash bolt is the second attack so for one lightning and two colors you do 70 and then you discard an energy card from your hand if you can't discard a an energy card from your hand this attack does nothing um, but that's a really good powerhouse attack uh you have one lightning another colorless energy and then an energy gain and if you have an energy in your hand you're able to hit for 70 which kills a lot of big hp things if you have a um, Lucario GL in play. Then you also play one Luxray GL level X. So this is an awesome card. Uh, it's got 110 HP, free retreat, a resistance to metal, and a weakness to fighting. Uh, the power is called Bright Look. So when you level X Luxray GL, you get to choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon if you want and switch it with their active Pokemon. So this is great for stuff like Claydol. Um, you're able to bring up a Claydol and then there's a lot of options you have at that point. Or if your opponent is just attaching energy somewhere on the bench and you want to hit their energy, that's another option as well. Um, and in combination with Bright Look, Flash Impact is, an, is a great attack. So for one Lightning and a Colossus, it does 60 uh, and then it does 30 damage to one of your Pokemon. So 60 for a Lightning and a Colossus, it's a single attach because you can just go lightning energy gain 60 and that's a, a lot of damage especially with like a crobat drop that lets you hit 70s so you're able to kill sprites or and like 60 hp most stage two basics in the format have 60 or less hp so you're just able to one shot that if they aren't able to find the candy on turn one so definitely a really really powerful card for sure let's play two infernape uh gl so or i think it's like infernape F or something or whatever whatever that symbol is um so it's got 90 hp a single retreat no resistance and a weakness to water so split bomb is the first attack super good attack so for a fire nicolas choose two of your opponent's pokemon this attack does 20 damage to each of them so some really good early spread for a fire and an energy gain you're just able to start attacking um if you're going second on your turn one and just dropping counters on your opponent's board this is really nice especially with luxury because you can see a threat um that's going to be coming up eventually and then drop damage on it and then you can bright look it and kill the threat when it eventually becomes a threat uh so that's a great first attack the second attack is pretty good as well so for fire two colors it does 50 so fire and another uh colors energy and an energy gain lets you hit 50 definitely okay if you're uh, trying to hit fire weakness on a b drill or something um, and then you also play one of the infernape level x so infernape level x has got 110 hp free retreat and a weakness to water Intimidating Roar is the power, so it's kind of similar to Luxray's power, but it's a little bit different. So Intimidating Roar essentially lets you force your opponent to switch their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon, and you can use it every turn. So Luxray GL lets you control, but uh, if your opponent just sticks something in the active and they have a bunch of bench Pokemon that they're not wanting to put in the active, they're kind of stalling for a turn. Uh, Intimidating Roar just lets you force them to switch, and then you're attacking something that's relevant. And that's your big attacker in the deck too, so Infernip is your powerhouse. So for two fires and a Colorless, or two fires and an energy gain, uh, does 100 and then you can discard you definitely you have to discard two energy attached to fernate but um two fires into colors is like decent cost but with an energy gain it means that every other turn you're hitting for 100 and it has free retreat too so you can fire spin retreat it attack with something else attached to it and then like retreat with the luxray as well the next turn and then fire spin again so really really pow powerful card for sure you can play one bronzong g so bronzong g's got 90 hp uh three retreat resistance to fire and a weakness to psychic uh and the poke power is called galactic switch so the power is the reason you play it um it lets you put so you put two damage counters on bronzong g and then lets you move an energy from one of your pokemon sp to another one of your pokemon so that can be really good for powering up infernape's fire spin um but it's also really good at getting some surprise attacks like you play an uxi level x and uh it's two colorless that is required to use that attack and having a psychic attacker is pretty important in some matchups and being able to just switch an energy attach and then being able to hit for that uh type of weakness that you want to hit for in a single turn is a great great uh power and also being able to fire spin two turns in a row can mean that uh you're able to take the game at that point as well so galactus which is an awesome and you don't play metals so i'm not going to talk about psychic pulse you play one Roserade GL as well. So Roserade GL's got 80 HP, a single retreat, and a weakness to fire. So the first attack is called Poison Bind. Uh, does 10, and then the defending Pokemon is now poisoned and can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. So 
really good attack it can be free so you put an energy gain on it and then it's doing that for free uh one of the big reasons that you play this card is for claydol it just helps slow your opponent down a lot um you can bright look at claydol active and then poison bind it for free while you're attaching to like an infernape or something else uh, and then in this format if you have a special condition you can't activate your poke power uh, and that really hurts claydol because Cl claydol consistency is so important to those stage two decks so when you're able to stop them from drawing it uh, definitely helps you especially when you're such an aggressive deck and then long whip you don't play a grass so uh, not going to talk about it but poison mind is really great with luxury jail and there's some situations as well where if your opponent has a, an active pokemon with the power and you want to shut it off for free you can just slap an ego on the roserade you're technically doing 20 because it does 10 damage and then poison so maybe 30 potentially as well because they can't retreat so they have to have like a poke turn or a switching card in their hand if they want to retreat out of it but being able to just attack for free having a free attacker uh, and this is one of the cards that puka switched of his three in his initial list too and uh yeah just ha he said uh, it's a big asset to have a free attacker because it means that you can attach to like an infernape and then next turn you can just attack with the infernape instead of having to attach to another pokemon and then having another turn of delay before you're able to attack with infernape so you can play one Lucario Gel as well. Uh, so Lucario Gel's got 80 HP, a Sunger Retreat, and a Weakness to Psychic. So the reason you play it is for its Poke Body called Boundary Aura. Uh, and essentially what Boundary Aura sends is all weaknesses in play are times two. And almost all of your Pokemon have times two weakness anyway. A couple don't, but uh, it's not a massive deal for you because all Pokemon SP already have times two weakness. But it is a big deal in some specific matchups. Like against Gyarados, being able to hit Gyarados for double weakness is really important. Um, against Kingdra can be really important as well. Uh, being able to hit him a champ for psychic weakness can be really important. Um, being able to hit a B drill for fire weakness times two can be really important. Definitely a just a good card in the meta, and it lets you... Uh, be more aggressive and get those one shots that the deck really uh, thrives off of. So you can play one Crobat G as well. So Crobat G's got 80 HP, free retreat, a resistance to fighting, and a weakness to lighting. Lightning. <clears throat> so the Poke Power is called Flashbite. When you bench Crobat, you get to drop a damage counter somewhere on your opponent's board. Uh, and that's really clutch, especially with how much board manipulation you have with Luxray and Infernape. You're able to kind of bring up whatever active that you want. And then uh, if you're 10 short of knocking it out, Flashbite just means that you're not 10 short anymore. And with Poke Turn, you can be 20 short or 30 short and still have that option to get the one shot that you need. Okay, so you play one <clears throat> Yuxi as well. So Yuxi's got 70 HP, a single retreat, and a weakness to Psychic. The power is setup. Setup is such a good power. So when you bench Yuxi from your hand, you get to draw until you have seven cards in your hand. So it's great because you can get it with the Roseans. So you can Roseans for like an Uxi and an Energy, get your attached for turn, and then still have some more cards for next turn potentially as well. And another reason you play Uxi is for Uxi level X. Uh, this is another important tech attacker in some matchups, and it's also good for your consistency. So Uxi level X has got 90 HP, a single retreat, and a weakness to Psychic. Uh, the Poke Power is called Trade Off. So you get to look at the top two cards of your deck, pick one of them, put it in your hand, and then choose the other one and put it to the bottom of your deck. So some really good consistency for sure. And then Zen Blade is also a great attack, being able to hit for big Psychic weakness weakness is uh, pretty important in some matchups as well so for two colors it hits for 60 and then yuxi can't use zen blade during your next turn um but yeah just a really powerful attack like i said against machamp and it's pretty important to be able to hit that lucario yuxi uh against machamp otherwise takeout just pretty much destroys your deck and you do play one as elf as well so as has got 70 hp uh single retreat and a weakness to psychic and the power is called time walk so once you're returning when you bench as elf uh you can look at your prizes choose a Pokemon that you find there and switch it with a card in your hand. So it's great for recovering your one-ups. You only play a 2-1 of your main attackers, and a lot of the one-ups in your deck uh, are really important depending on what the board looks like, and being able to recover those from your prizes can be a really big deal some games if you uh, need a tech attacker in some matchup, for example. You also play two Unknown G. So Unknown G has a ton of uses uh, in this format. Uh, take out Machamp, like we were talking about, is a, is a big reason that you play Guard. So essentially what Guard does is, um, so let's say we have the Azelf active and the Guards on the bench. So I can activate Guard as a Poke Power, and it becomes a Pokemon tool, and then the Pokemon that Guard is attached to doesn't take any effects of attack. So let's say the Roserade GL is opposing, for example, and it has a colorless. So Poison Bind does 10 damage. I still take the 10 damage because um, it doesn't stop damage, but I, I'm not poisoned and I can retreat during the next turn because the other two parts of the attack are the effects of attack. So Unknown G, I mean, this isn't the reason you play it. Obviously you don't play it as a Roserade GL counter, um, but it is a really important counter to stuff like Machamp. And it really depends on the matchup, uh, but certain matchups 
Dwarfs use really big effects of attack. Gengar is another big reason you play uh, Guard. It's just able to knock your Pokemon of powers out really quickly. When you can guard them, uh, it means that they're not getting knocked out as quickly. So you also play uh, one Chatot. So Chatot is a, a pretty cool tech attacker. Um, so for it's got 60 HP, a free retreat, and uh, resistance to fighting, and a weakness to lightning. So it's you know technically it's a tech attacker because Chatter is a is a really niche attack that can be really good. But it's also a big consistency out in the deck. Uh, so mimic for free. Shuffle your hand to your deck and then draw a number of cards equal to the number of cards in your opponent's hand. Uh, Cyrus Conspiracy is a pretty good card in this format, and it pluses your opponent's hand by a fair amount of size. So when you're able to, if they're able to do that, and you have a turn where you can't really hit anything, being able to chuck a chat dot active and then get a big hand so that hopefully you can hit something next turn is really good as well. If you do have one of those Pokemon search like. Like I was saying, but um, your power locked, for example, like Mesprit is a pretty good card in this meta. Um, Mimic is another way to get around that, but still be able to draw. Um, and then we're going to get into some of the stage one lines. You play two stage one lines in this deck. Uh, so the first one's a nine tails line and it starts with the Vulpix. So Vulpix has got 60 HP, a single retreat and a weakness to water. <clears throat> so the first attack is actually a really good attack. So it's called find wildfire for free. Search your deck for up to two fire energy cards, show them to your opponent and put them in your hand. So for free, that's actually a really good attack because if you're having an energy drought, you just are able to find them. And then you have your next two turns of attaches already in your hand. Uh, brush fire for one fire does 10, does 10 damage for each of your opponents benched grass Pokemon. Uh, uh, does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench grass Pokemon. So it does 10 to the active, and then if your opponent has any bench grass, you're able to spread. So I guess that has some niche uses if you're playing it's like Beedrill or something, and you start a Vulpix. Uh, and then Inflame is the third attack, so for a fire and a colorless, it does 30. Discard a fire energy card from your hand. If you can't discard a card from your hand, this attack does nothing. Um, so yeah, definitely the first attack is super good on that for free. But the reason you play that is for this Ninetales. So Ninetales has got 80 HP, a single retreat, and a weakness to water. So the color shift is the power. Um, once during your turn, but before you attack, uh, you may choose one of your opponent's Pokemon. Ninetales is the same type as that Pokemon, uh, and then it stays that type till the end of the turn. So Color Shift is great because it helps you with uh, Psychic Pokemon in particular. There's a, a couple Psychic Pokemon that do you in pretty hard. Um, and the main reason that you play it is for this Mewtwo. So it's got 120 HP, uh, and it can't get affected by any basic Pokemon. And that's pretty much all the Pokemon you play other than Ninetales and Claydol. So auto losing to this is not really an option. Uh, it's a pretty good card in the meta, and I don't think you should take an auto loss to it. And that's why you play the Ninetales. So the Ninetales for two fire does 60, discard a fire energy attached to Ninetales. You color shift, choose Mewtwo, you become psychic type, and it's weak to psychic type. So you're hitting it for 60 times two is 120. You're able to one shot it, and then it's knocked out. Um, and it's a great tech attacker for that reason. Uh, it's mainly for the Mewtwo level X, but it does have some other niche uses as well. Um, if your opponent is playing like a Palkia deck, let's say for example, and they have a Raichu GL on the bench, uh, then you're able to pick the Raichu, change to lightning type, and then uh, one shot the Palkia. But it really depends on the situation. There are some situational uses for it, but it's mainly a tech for Mewtwo. And then getting into the Claydol line, so you start off with a Baltoy, 50 HP, single retreat, and a weakness to grass. So Psychic Balance is the first attack. Uh, if you have less cards in your hand than your opponent, you draw to match them. So it's a really good, you know, if you're bricking and you don't really have anything, you can just attach to the Baltoy and then hopefully draw out of uh, your crap hand. Uh, but the reason you play that is for Claydol. So Claydol's got 80 HP, two retreat, and a weakness to grass. Cosmic Power is the, the reason you play it. So Cosmic Power is an awesome, awesome draw. Probably one of the best draw that Pokemon's ever printed. Uh, so once on your turn, you can choose up to two cards from your hand, put them to the bottom of your deck, and then draw until you have six cards in your hand. So that means if you have like a hand of three, you can put two to the bottom, and then you're drawing five cards. And you can use this power once every turn. So especially when it gets to the late game, being able to hit that draw can be really, really important. And it's just so such a good card. Okay, so we're gonna use some of the trainers now. Uh, so you play four Poke Turn. It's pretty staple for every SP deck. Poke Turn is just a really, really good card. Uh, return one of your Pokemon SP and all cards attached to it to your hand. So that lets you use Bright Look multiple times if you want. Let's use Flash Bite a bunch of times if you want. You can potentially use two Bronzongs in a turn if that's something that you need. Like if you have a fresh Infernape level X um, and it's got no energy on it and you don't have an energy in your hand, but you have two on your board, you can go like, uh, Bronzong G, move the fire, poke a turn Bronzong back to your hand, bench it. And since your hand is private knowledge, your opponent doesn't know if that's the same Bronzong G or a different one. Obviously, it's the same one, but that's not how the game works. So you bench it and then you get to use the power again. Uh, and then being able to, you know, Galactic Switch twice, it does have some niche uses as well. Uh, but yeah, it just, oh, there's a lot of things that you're able to do with poke turn it also lets you heal like you can discard all energy from Infernape, take a hit with no energy and then just 
return it back to hand and then not have to worry about that damage return. It's just a very, very good card. Okay, so you also play four energy gain. So energy gain, as long as it's attached to uh, SP Pokemon, uh, that SP Pokemon pays one colorless less to attack. That lets you flash impact for free. It, it just makes all of your attack costs really effective. Um, you're able to attack for one with the Luxury GL Basic. You're able to attack for one with Flash Impact. You're able to attack for two with the Infernape Level X. You're into, you're able to split bomb for one. There's just a ton of ton of reasons to play this card. Such a good card. Rose Raid attacks for free. Uh, yeah, just a super, super solid card. Uh, and then you play three SP Radar as well. So SP Radar says, search your deck or choose a hand, choose a card from your hand uh, and put it on top of your deck and then search your deck for a Pokemon SP and put it in your hand. So again, just really good Pokemon SP and Cyrus Conspiracy lets you search this card. So definitely a really, really solid card for consistency. And then you play two Power Spray as well. So Puka's Nats list actually only played one Power Spray. This is the second of the three cards that he cut um, in this list. And Power Spray is one of them. I do really like two Power Spray. I think two is like the perfect number for this deck. Three is, seems a little bit clunky and you don't really need to have that power block. But being able to search it with Cyrus is really good. So anyway, um, Power Spray, what it does is you can play it during your opponent's turn if they activate a power if you have three or more sp pokemon in play and then that power uh isn't activated so let's say they try to uxy set up and draw like six if you have uh two lux race and an infernape in play you pay it play a power spray and then all of a sudden their consistency is shot and they don't get to draw those six cards that they might really need uh power spray is also really good against claydol cosmic power is a really really good draw and being able to shut that off until you're able to kill the claydol or shut or turn it off um is a really really good card for sure definitely a good option to have in the deck Okay, so you play one Night Maintenance as well. Uh, so Night Maintenance says shuffle three in any combination of uh, Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. So it's good Pokemon recovery. Again, your attacking lines are pretty thin, so you do need to recover. Uh, being able to get fire energies back as well is pretty good because Infernape uh, does discard two fire every time you attack with it. So being able to put them back in deck and then draw them with a clay doll means that you have it in the late game as well. Uh, you do put one Luxury Ball. So Luxury Ball says search your deck for any Pokemon that's not a level X, so it searches for anything except for Luxray, Infernape, and Uxie. Uh, any card in the deck, so really, really good consistency. Uh, yeah, just literally search any Pokemon. This is pretty staple for every deck in this format. Uh, you just play one of, uh, unless, depending on the deck, there's there's some decks that play more than one. But as a one of, it's pretty staple just because it's so good. Uh, you can't, the reason you play as a one of is because um, if it's in your discard pile, you can't play another one. And you play one Premier Ball as well. So Premier Ball says, search your deck or discard pile for a Pokemon level X. Show it to your opponent, put it in your hand. So that's great if your Pokemon level X gets knocked out. You're able to recover it back to the hand and then just use it right away if you have like a basic for it. Um, but also it lets you search it early game if you are having trouble finding it. You have a Premier Ball and then you're just able to search it from your deck. It's just some good uh, level X search because... Um, Luxury Ball doesn't search level Xs. The only thing that searches level Xs is SP Radar, Premier Ball, and you play one Bebe search as well. Okay, so this is the third and final change in the list that Puka made. So originally he was playing two Stark Mountain and a Rayquaza, and he changed that to the Power Spray, the Roserade, and the Sunny Shore City Gym. And I think those changes are actually really, really great. Uh, so Sunny Shore essentially says, um, any damage done by attacks from Lightning Pokemon to your opponents isn't affected by resistance, and then each Lightning Pokemon in play has no weakness. So not having to worry about resistance can be relevant depending on the matchup, uh, but no no weakness is really the big part that you care about. Toxicroak G is a really great tech against Luxray, and it hits, smacks you for weakness times two, and then you get knocked out. But if you have the Stadium in play, it just means that you're not getting knocked for weakness, and when you're able to not get knocked for weakness, Poketurn becomes a really viable healing option. Uh, and then this deck becomes so much more powerful because if you're not getting one shot your opponent you have so many options because you have free retreat and poke turn and just like so many different options that yeah sunny shore gym is a, is a great great card at helping keep keep your pokemon alive okay so we're getting to the supporters now so we play four cyrus conspiracy uh pretty staple in an sp deck it's really good unless you search for basic energy card a supporter card and a pokemon uh team galactic's invention or pokemon a trainer card with Team Galactic's invention in its name. Sorry. <laughs> so that gets you Poketurn, Energy Gain, SP Raider, or Power Spray. So it's uh, really, really good for lots of reasons. I mean, finding an Energy Gain can be really important. Same with a Poketurn or SP Raider or Power Spray. I mean, really, depending on what your opponent's board is, grabbing one of your choice is a really, really great option to have. And then you also play four Roseanne's Research. So Roseanne's Research is another really good supporter. It says search your deck for two in any combination of basic Pokemon and basic energy cards and then show them to your opponent and put it in your hand. So it helps you find your fire energy, your lightning energy, uh, but also your basic Pokemon. So it gets your 
anything that's not like the level X or the Claydol or the Ninetales. So just a really good Pokemon consistency card as well. And you play two Bebe Search. I lied about one. It's two. So uh, Bebe Search is another card that searches for your level X's, but it also just searches for any Pokemon. So choose a card from your hand, put it on the top of your deck, and then search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it to your opponent, and then put it in your hand. So again, it just you can Cyrus for a Bebe's if you really need to find the level X next turn. Um, I mean, you can get an SP Radar too, but it really depends on what your board is. Sometimes you need to grab an Energy Gain or a Poke Turn. Uh, and then being able to get that Bebe Search so that you can have the level X the next turn is a really good option to have for sure. You do play one Aaron's Collection. So Aaron's Collection is one of your Pokemon recoveries. Uh, so search your discard pile for two and any combination of Pokemon SP and basic energy cards. Show them to your opponent and put them in your hand. This is another one of the changes from the list. Actually, I forgot about this change. Um, originally, the list was playing two Night Maintenance. And I was like, that seems pretty mediocre compared to Aaron's Collection. Because you're able to search Aaron's Collections with Cyrus Conspiracy if you really need to find it on the next turn. Um, and Night Maintenance, it's great. It's good. And I understand why he played two Night Maintenance. Um, it's really important to get fires back for Infernape. But I think, you know, Aaron's also lets you just put them back in hand. So sometimes getting it to hand is better. And I asked him about it. I was like, which one do you think is better? Do you think two Night Maintenance is uh, really relevant? Or should it just be an Aaron's Collection? And Puka was like, yeah, it should definitely have been an Aaron's Collection. So... One Aaron's collection in there is definitely a really good call on this list as well. Okay, so getting into the energy lines now. Uh, so you play six fires. Fire is uh, really important for Infernape, and again, you discard it, so you have to have a lot in your deck to be able to attack repeatedly with Infernape. Uh, and you play three call energy as well. Call is a super good card. Uh, if it's attached to your active Pokemon, you can activate call and it ends your turn, but you search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon and bench them. So that can be good for definitely a lot of reasons reasons sorry um Baltoy is a really common search option with this turn one you're able to get a Baltoy, and then if you have like a luxury ball or a baby search in your hand turn two it just means you're able to get tons of draw out of your cladle um it's great for finding stuff that you need for a specific matchup as well like if you need lucario in a matchup or if you need unknown g in a matchup you're just able to search it and then uh get going it's actually kind of good for chat hot as well if you ever have a hand where you're like wow this is literally awful except for call energy you can call for chat dot and then have a, a decent draw option next turn at least you're not entirely breaking at that point you do play three lightning. Uh, the nice part about this deck is you play a lot of basic energy search, so you don't have to play a really high amount of lightning energy because Cyrus and Roseanne's all search a basic energy card. But yeah, uh, Luxray Jail is one of your main attackers. It is a really good attacker, so you play three lightnings for that guy as well. Okay, well, this has been Luxape. Uh, if you have any questions about the deck, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get to them. But uh, thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.